Yes, welcome again, Mr. Jeff Baba. This particular time, I will be able to talk about a doll's house by Henry Ibsen. Henry Ibsen is a Norwegian writer from Norway. He has only written this book uh, revolving around relationships revolving around family and many other issues. For now, I will be able to look at language and style. And under language and style, I will be able to base my illustrations on symbolism. You may ask yourself what symbolism is, but because we have several instances in adults' house that bring about symbolism, I will be able to tackle that part right now. Symbolism in adults' house. The title adults' house itself is used symbolically. Enric Ibsen uses this to symbolize several themes and happenings in the book. First of all, Adam's house symbolizes Nora herself. How? Nora is termed as a doll simply because of how she behaves, simply because of uh, how she plays the children, and many other things that she conducts. Even it is evident that in the book, uh, Nora is referred to as a doll by Helma Toma. Helma Toma refers to Nora as my little doll. Other instances, you realize that when Nora offers oneself to play with the children, and as well as how she participates in that hide and seek game with the children. She is indeed a doll. Another way is when Nora says that even when she lives with her father before she gets married with uh, Helma Toma, her father treated her like a doll. She was her father's doll and that the life does not change even when she comes to Tobal. Still, she remains to be Tobal's door. Yeah, we have other instances as well that support that a doll's house is used symbolically. For example, uh, Nora's, uh, Nora's doll gifts that she buys to her daughter. Nora buys a doll to her daughter. That shows exactly that uh, a doll's house is used symbolically. Those are some of the areas that support that indeed a doll's house is uh, used symbolically by the other Henrik Ibsen. Nora herself, as you quoted, is also a doll and uh, many others. We also have another symbol. Another symbol in this particular book is the Tarantella dance. The Tarantella dance is performed by Nora. Where is it performed and what does it symbolize? The Tarantella dance is symbolizing Nora, uh, Nora and uh, the way in which she does things to, to, to make sure that Helma is happy, to satisfy Helma, just as she dances wildly. She dances more uh, wild so that Helma can be pleased. And remember, there's a time when when the secret of Krogstad, that 
much borrowing of the 250 pounds is revealed, is disclosed. That time before Elma gets to address the letter in the letter box, Nora demands that they go for a Tratella practice so that she can lure Elma, so that she can lure him not to address the letter. That one is also used to cover that uh, discourse, the discourse of the news or, or the bad news which may bring as a result of uh, divorce in uh, Alba's family. Also, as you can see, we have uh, another way in which Helma tries to uh, to do things in relation to the to Tarantella dance. Helma uh, is 40 pounds. Uh, because the Nora serves to fortify a position of a dog because of how she dances. Dancing more wild, more wild, more wild. That one uh, takes Nora to the position of a dog. The way they do this, that practice, that practice and the all that they do. Uh, in dancing the tarantella, it fortifies Nora's position as a dog. We have other cases where symbolism is evident. Uh, the new year also symbolizes several things. Among them, Nora's happy new life. The new year symbolizes Nora's happy new life. Remember, Nora gets a happy new life the moment she realizes that Helma has got a new position at bank, as bank manager. Now, she feels that her life is going to change simply because she will never struggle again. Now that the husband has a new job, that is why she persuaded Helma to borrow some money for Christmas so that when she gets his first, uh, when he gets his first salary, he will be able to repay. But Helma does not accept that. <laughs> Remember, we have uh, this new year symbolizing the new job that Helma gets. This new job that Helma gets is also symbolized by the new year. Because now, with the new job, the life of Elma is going to change. With the new job, Elma tries to make changes in the bank. First by uh, shoving uh, some employees in the bank, as well as making new changes, uh, particularly sucking Crocsta because of his corrupt nature and employing Mrs. Linda in his place. We have other instances as well. Nora and Helma separation is also symbolized by the New Year. The New Year, yes, symbolizes Helma's separation uh, with Nora. Remember, it is like a foreshadow because it foreshadows how this family is going to be separated how this family is going to part. And at the end of it all, they part ways. Nora goes and Halma remains. Because you do understand what happens uh, as the conflict continues until the end of the book when they separate. So it's a foreshadow. The new year is a foreshadow of their separation. They are divorced. As well as you can see that we have uh, Mrs. Linde uh, getting a new job. Yeah, when Mrs. Linde is getting a new job, yes, the new year also symbolizes that. It symbolizes the new job that Mrs. Linde gets. Uh, in addition, 
we have misleaded reconciling with clock stars when they come together to rekindle their love, to renew their love. Uh, that is symbolized in the new year. The use of the new year symbolizes all that. But now, now that Mrs. Linde, we are told she leaves Crockstar for a man who is well off, a man who is better financial, so that he could cater for a sick mother, so that this man could cater for his uh, for her siblings, that is the siblings of Mrs. Linde. Uh, but now, when this man dies, and we are told that uh, Mrs. Linde's mother also dies, Mrs. Linde has no option except to look for a job in town, and fortunately she gets a job by the help of uh, Nora, her old school friend, who talks to her uh, husband, Elma, and uh, she secures a position at back. Now, they have to repeat of the alarm because when Nora calls for a cross star, uh, when her, uh, Mrs. Linda, I mean, when Mrs. Linda calls for a cross star, she reminds cross star of how they were together. And now that she has no one to work for and no one to live for, she chooses to rekindle her love with the crop star. And uh, lucky, lucky now they come together and they agree. They continue with their new love. We also have to understand that um, we have another symbol, symbolism. Another incident of symbolism is evident in Crockster's first letter. The letter from Crockster. Uh, this letter, first of all, it symbolizes Crockster's despair. Now that he has lost his job, he is desperate that he loses his job and he has nowhere to earn from. Uh, that letter symbolizes his district. Another, uh, another point that we have to see is that the letter also symbolizes the corrupt nature brought out by this man, Crockstad. The corrupt nature of Crockstad is also symbolized in Crockstad's letter because it is clear and evident that Crockstad loses his job because of his corrupt nature that is witnessed by many other people apart from El Matoba when he gets the new position as a bank manager. Now, he loses because of forgery of signatures and many other uh, corrupt uh, behaviors. Uh, another one is that Toba <coughs> Uh, Tobal's help has got what we call a loving character which comes with time. It is also symbolized in the Crockstead's letter, the first letter. That Crockstead seems to be loving Nora from the beginning of the book. But as events unfold, as time goes by, Crockstead uh, when Crockstad is shot, in that letter now, that particular letter, as we have, we have quoted, it symbolizes all this. It also symbolizes how Nora's family with El Matoba gets to live a life of uh, separation, that they are not living as lovers. They live a life which is like uh, strangers coming together to live in a house. Now, Helma does not continue loving Nora like he loved Nora before, because it is after this letter that Crockstad brings that 
brings about the separation of this family. It is this same letter that brings about mistrust in Elmer's house. But to some extent, uh, Elmer decides to say that he can never or he no longer trusts Nora with the children. But he can never trust Nora with the children. Simply because this mistrust comes as a result of uh, as a result of this letter brought by Kosa. Thank you so much for your time. I believe we shall continue uh, next time.